So I guess I'll take the time to go first. All right. Spot home. Take it away. Um, which I think you hit on a really strong point, which is what I wanted to address. Because it's also something that I heard. I wasn't going to say this from now on. I realized I catch myself. But I heard it in like a podcast or I might have been watching a video. But they were, they were talking about just that too. Like your why will change. Like it'll it'll grow, develop, and evolve because you're not the goal isn't to be the same exact person that you were a year, you know, for hopefully for better and to always improve into growing yourself. So it's like the same thing that drove you to go from point A to point B is gonna get you from point B to point C necessarily. And I actually had a really good conversation last night with a buddy of mine, and we were just talking and it like slowly rolled into like I didn't know exactly what I was gonna talk about going into here. I know I pioneer all this and I write it down and make you guys figure things out. But I was like, what am I gonna talk about? Like I feel like I just don't I don't have that that thing. Like things have just kind of been clicking and I've been feeling really good and able to do things. But I realized that with the conversation I had last night, it was more about cutting out the the I guess the fear in the back of my head of doing something. I realized how apparent that came to me. Uh, whenever I would try to do something or do something that makes me uncomfortable and you know I know I, I make you guys severely uncomfortable when you're working out and I give you a heavier weight to push you and I told you guys even here like I was like if you're uncomfortable like go for it for the lack of better words <laughs> go for it um, but I didn't realize how much that there's like there's this voice in the back of my head that's always really keeping me from doing um, the things that I want to do the things that I know I want to put into action and so my whole why has been to just drown that voice out as much as I can. Like if you guys probably experienced this too in your workouts where you think that you've given it 100% and like you're gonna hit something and you're hitting a wall and all of a sudden your brain's like, hey, just slow down, that's it. Like we can't do anymore, we're fine right here. Don't, don't try to push it. But then one of us runs up and we're like, all right, we got three more, let's go. And all of a sudden it clicks and you're able to do it. And that, that's like what I'm avidly chasing but without having to have somebody there. Because I know a lot of things that I want to do isn't going to involve having someone right in my ear the entire time. I'm going to be alone for some of the process. And I know if when I'm alone, that, that voice gets exponentially louder and it gets a lot more difficult for me to stay focused and to push myself past what I think my limits are, um, then I'm always going to fail, fail to it and fall to it. And it um, leads directly to a goal that I start training on next week on Monday. So I have my, my 30, 34 week plan or something like that. Where I guess I'll put it on here so it's on the internet so I have no choice but to finish it. <laughs> put <laughs> but, it out there, put it out there. But my goal for is to, in November 21st, to complete an Ironman race. For those of you that don't know that, it's a very big endurance race. It's a two and a half mile swim, all by 112 mile bike ride, and a full marathon run finish in that order without a break. Um, but, well, I work too, <laughs> but the reason that I want to do that, and I realize it's like that driving factor, is because when I'm going through the process, just like in here when you're working out and you're training and you're pushing yourself, that I'm going to have to keep on putting that voice away, and I'm going to have to learn to just fight against it as much as I can, or else it's going to be very easy to just give up and quit and not do it. So it's like that has become my sole like reason why I want to get better and why I want to want to improve, just like make that voice like shut up and like to tune it out and know that I can reach like greater levels in, in not just my physical aspect, but every other aspect of my life if I overcome it. Nice. I love it. <laughs> you love it. It all makes sense why you're always doing these things. <laughs> Pushing yourself. That's awesome. Oh, man. All right, you guys. We all heard it. November 21st. All right. Very cool. You guys want to join me by all means. I want to. Awesome, man. Thank you for sharing that. That was, that was awesome. All right. Fellas? Well, oh, all right. Okay. Um, I'll go. Um, I guess I'll start with what drives, what drives me, and then I'll kind of roll into my life. I honestly can't explain what drives me. I'm just always dissatisfied with my current state of being. Um, if I bench 205, then I want to bench 210. Then I get to 210, I want to do 215. I honestly don't know where that comes from or why I'm constantly looking ahead and saying, okay, hit this marker, cool, enjoyed it, what's next? Like, what's the next best thing I can keep getting after? I don't know where that comes from. But it's just, it's always in there, that internal drive, that burning to it. It's like, 
if I'm a nice person, I want to be a nicer person. So it kind of just infects everything in my life. And then working in a place like this with people like that, <laughs> that kind of thing gets magnified to where it's a point of like, okay, what's the next most extreme thing that I can do that's gonna put me so far in my comfort zone that I'm gonna take a leap and a bounce ahead of time. And since he's putting his challenge out there, I'm actually planning on going skydiving. And I'm like extremely terrified of planes. I hate flying. I hate, <laughs> I hate heights, I hate all of those things. And then Coach went to was like, oh, who wants to go skydiving? And I was like, me. So I don't know what it is, but I just want to put myself in those positions that force me to grow and force me to get better. So I'm looking forward to skydiving. I'm sure I'll be super terrified, but with all things, no pain, no gain, right? <laughs> Anybody want to join us? <laughs> and you guys are more than welcome to join us. Uh, I know that we're going to be booking it here pretty soon, so I'm going to need to get on that. Um, more power to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to skydive, let them know. Um, so where my drive comes from, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just from being dissatisfied with my results and winning better results. But my why is kind of interesting because my fitness journey and me wanting to exercise or to be more fit was only related to being better at sports. I didn't enjoy the idea of being in the weight room versus being on the gym floor, right? To where it's like everybody who's good at basketball or good at their sport practices on that court in that environment all the time. It's what they do, right? But what separates people is what they do outside of that environment when they put themselves in an uncomfortable situation. So I was always doing um, exercises, lifting, all those kinds of things. That was my why for doing it. Now you can imagine that why didn't really get me anywhere. So I always struggled with, you know, having not being able to cut that last five pounds, not being able to get that next two inches on the vertical, and all those kinds of things. Because it was I wasn't doing it right, my intentions weren't right, and I wasn't in the right mindset in that environment to get the best results. And so I started bouncing around from major to major, I stopped playing basketball, I had no idea what I wanted to do. The only thing that stayed constant for some reason, I had no idea, was exercise. Whether it was just like playing recreational sports, or it was in the gym with weights, or if it was just going on walks. I don't know what it is, but it's always been a constant for me. And so when I do a lot of reflection on why I do what I do, it's truly because working out has given me so much mental and physical confidence. It has liberated me from lots of insecurities and from feeling down, sitting down, not doing anything. It always pushes me to that next level to where, you know, that drive where I can't explain it. Exercise is a great vehicle for me. And so it's what I use to keep myself moving forward. And why I do what I do is because I want to find a way to translate that inner passion that I have for fitness. Not to make other people to love fitness, because not everybody's going to love working out. But you can love the results that come from that, which are feeling better, being more fit, being healthy, it gives you more energy. You have a better mindset, you're more tolerable to aggravation, which means that you're a nicer person, you're more kind. And so I guess for me, my why is I want to translate those emotions to as many people as I can. And you know, this is just the beginning, this is just the start for me. So a perfect environment to be able to translate my why and try to help with yeah. other people. Very nice, love it. Yes, so see, you know, when Coach Al comes up to you on the bed, it's all I love. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you say that you are dissatisfied with like your stuff instead of saying like you're unhappy because I think it's important to like enjoy it and yes. be happy with where you're at but don't be satisfied and just kind of like stay there and settle for that like always try to do better and do more so that's awesome. Thank you. Love it. Cool. All right. Mr. Apple. Right. 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 Coach Gus. What, what drives you Coach Gus? So there's a couple things. Uh, first, like uh, three things that I that I, um, always come to my mind as far as drive goes. Um, one of them is my mom. So um, she just I feel like I owe it to her to just to do my best mm -hmm. all the time. And so um, I didn't have much. And she was a single mom, and she did everything she could to get me where I'm at and like just raise us. So I think that's just I have that in the back of my head all the time. And so that just like. I can't let it go. So that keeps me from like staying still and like not putting in an effort. Um, also, keep the people, um, like the clients here especially, 
Um, but it's just like the drive, like that they drive me because like I know that I, if I'm better, I can do better to get them more than um, than uh, if I don't do that or if I don't learn, if I don't succeed in anything. Um, as far as like the fitness industry goes, like I have to keep growing, keep learning, so that I can offer that to people. And that like knowing that I have to do that to help them just keeps me driven to do more and to learn more because that's the only way to, to be able to help anyone is if I know what I'm doing and, and I'm also growing as well. So it's, that's the other thing. And then the third thing would be just like my own results. Um, seeing my results as far as like where I, when I started when, and how I'm going. And, and every single bump in that road and, and accomplishment, like all that drives me because it shows me what is capable, what I'm capable of doing, what I'm not, or or what I what I'm putting on sometimes, or what I put, you know, everything, all all of that basically just shows me, and, and and then I know, okay, you can do this, or this is why you didn't do it, um, but you can, or, you know, all these excuses sometimes that I'll make myself, I like just reflect, and so um, that just keeps me driven to keep going. Um, as far as my why, uh, I would have to say. It's just something that, like, grow like since I was growing up, like I always just like like Coach Sean said, I, like I relate to that as far as being active. I never really knew what I wanted to do, and I went several years, like years and years. Like I feel like I, I always wanted to do something. I knew I wanted to help people. Um, I knew that for sure. I've always just been that health person, but I didn't know how. And so yeah, it was like a big, big struggle just trying to figure it out. So I moved, I left, and I went to different places, I thinking that if I moved to a different city, I would find my why. Um, so, uh, yeah, I did that, a lot of that, I worked in different places, and it just like, it was always, but one thing that always stayed consistent was me being active. Like, that was always something that made me feel good. Um, granted, in the beginning, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, what the heck I was doing, um, but, um, but uh, it, it just felt good to be active, to do something, to work out, to run, to jump up out of Anything that I was doing that I was active, I was always happy. Like it was just, it just felt good to me. It felt like natural. And then so come along when I was when I turned 22, I started working out. And so then I was just like, oh my god, what is this? Like you know, like it was so new to me, but it was so mind blowing. And it was just like it was awesome. I loved it. And I was like, everyone has to try this. <laughs> um, and so I I loved it. And then just learning more and getting more experience with it and, and just getting better at it. Um, my why now is just, I wanna help change people's lives in that aspect, in their health. Um, I really, really, really wanna like infect them with that um, and just just change their life around and better. Um, so knowing that I'm changing their life and making their life better, it's just, it's just um, gonna be like satisfying to me. And also, um, I mean, later in life, my plan is to have my own, like, build my own legacy as far as that goes. And, um, and, and hopefully that goes throughout, like, forever and ever and ever, which I plan for that to happen. But my main goal is to change lives with that, like, that, that exact um, one. So, um, especially, like, it, mainly, like, I mean, hopefully everywhere throughout, but especially in the health and fitness and I, I would love to do that. And I want to always like um, teach people something different and show them something different, show them how to be healthy or fit and, and and not just I mean they don't have to be bodybuilders, they can just have to take care of themselves and love themselves in that aspect. Um, so that that keeps me going and that's my why everything that I'm doing now going forward because I figured out exactly what I want to do is is what keeps me going and, and keeps me wanting more each and every time. Like I don't want to just stay I'm like, just like, you know, I'm not satisfied. I want to just keep going, keep going. Um, until one day, I just don't think it'll ever happen. But until I feel like I'm there, um, then I'll stop. But I don't think that's ever going to happen because I just I'll want more. The more that I have, the more that I keep getting from you guys here at the studio and with all of, all of you guys, the coaches here, like, the more that I want. Like, I want to be each and every one of you and then some. So um, that's, that's my why. Nice. I love it. Awesome. You're in the right place. <laughs> I love this, man. Everybody on our, on our team is so driven. <laughs> so driven. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. Thank you for that, guys. That was awesome. Very cool. All right. <clears throat> 
So I'm like super excited right now because I'm like, man, these guys are all like fired up and like super driven and, and uh, I'm looking forward to see uh, what we do together as a team. Um, but you guys, so um, my my why, what, what drives me, um, honestly, at heart, it's like, it's, it's my purpose here um, on this beautiful planet, which I figured it out what that was a couple years ago. Actually, on back with one of our um, on our one of our episodes of Coffee with Coaches, I brought in a book. It was called uh, Spiritual Growth. And when I read this book, it was a very there was a very very profound moment. Like it hit me. I had to like stop what I was doing and like oh my god, like this is my purpose here on this on this planet is to be a, to be the light. Like to be an example and to be a guide for other people, to show them the way. And when I realized that, it like changed everything because I know that I'm here to set an example with the way that I live my life. Um, and I take that very serious, but not too serious at the same time. <laughs> um, I'm still trying to like uh, enjoy my life to the fullest and, and just be me. But I am very like conscious of what I'm doing and I know that people are watching. Uh, we have tons of clients on my team, my daughter, my family, um, that you know, so many people have told me like that I'm an inspiration to them or that they look up to me or they thank me for being a role model and I and I really appreciate that and, and it means a lot to me because that's honestly like what I'm trying to do with the way that I live my life is set that example of like Taking care of yourself, like your self-care should be your number one priority. So it makes me excited to, and happy to know that like you guys working out and taking care of yourselves, that's like what, what drives you. And I think it's so important, um, not, not to hate on guys at all. I think it's important for everybody, but like women, especially moms, you guys, like you have to, you have to take care of yourself. Um, or if you're a caretaker at, at all, like, are you really are you really giving your absolute best to the people that you are taking care of if you're not taking care of yourself and you're not feeling good inside um you know you might be able to like you might be able to do what you're doing but are you doing it to your fullest potential probably not if you're if you're slapping on your self-care and i think that it's really important um, that we take time for ourselves that we spend time with ourselves um, and, and talk to ourselves and, and do all that stuff so that we can show up at our best. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be like the best version of myself that I can and set that example and show people like there is a way, like you don't, you know, I do think like, there, you, there, I do believe that you have to sacrifice some things to get, to get to places in life, right? Like to build up this business, for example, like I, we had, I had to sacrifice and I know Daniel sacrificed a lot of like, time with family with friends going places doing things like you have to kind of give that stuff up for a while but there's a massive win on the other side of that like we're, we're building a freaking empire um, and we're going to change like thousands of lives like unlimited amount i don't even know i don't even want to put a number on it um but anyways there's a win on the other side of that sacrifice right or if you're uh if you're a student and you're like working super hard and you're grinding to get your degree so that you can build your own company or so that you can just have an amazing successful career like there's a win on the other side of that sacrifice but when you sacrifice your own self-care like i don't think there's a win on the other side of that because you're just like you're not happy you're miserable you don't feel good um and i don't think there's a win on the other side of that so i don't feel like anybody should sacrifice their self-care and that's why i talk about it so much and that's why i make sure that like I make it a priority for myself so people can see like, hey, I, I uh, help in running a business, I have my team, I have my daughter, I have my husband, I have my home, I have all these things, but like, I make sure to take care of me because I, I don't think that's, that we should sacrifice that because like I said, there's no win on the other side of that. The only, the only time that I think there would ever be a win on the, on the other side of like, sacrificing your self-care is to the point where like you hit a rock bottom moment and realize you can't live like that anymore and then you start taking care of yourself yeah. like i think that's the only way um and i just see it happening like too many times i have a lot of uh, women in my life a lot of um you know aunts and cousins and and, and clients and stuff that i i see it happen too many times where it's just like 
they don't make time for themselves because they're making so much time for their family, for their for their kids, for and their jobs and all this other like everyone else. But like you need to make sure that you fill yourself up and that you take care of yourself so that way you can show up and do all that stuff and actually like enjoy doing it. Don't do it just because it's a, uh, it's a you know an obligation of yours. Like do it because you feel good and you have the energy to do it and and, and it makes and it's just like it's worth it. You know what I mean? So um, honestly, that's that's what uh, keeps me going. Like I then knowing that I'm setting an example for my daughter. Uh, for my team, for my clients, for my family, for my friends, whoever the heck is watching, <laughs> um, you know. So that that's what that's what drives me, and that's what keeps me going. So that is that. <laughs> awesome, super powerful. Appreciate you sharing. What am what am I reading here? All right. So I think uh, Valencia asked you guys to drop some stuff in here. So Zoila, she says, my why has always been my girls. I want to be healthy and happy to be a better mom for them. I want to set the example that hard work pays off, to never settle. As I grow, they will always be my why, but I have added to it, especially lately. Part of my why has been the Fit Fam. Having others tell me I have inspired them is amazing because I know if I can do it, because I know if I can do it, so can they. I love being able to help them on their journey. Yes, Zoila, absolutely. Like, I always tell this girl, man, you are a rock star. Like, you're inspiring people. Um, and honestly, that's how it started off for me, too. Like, when, when we first opened up the business, and, and, and not that she's not my wife, but like, my, I was like, oh, you know, my, my, my wife is my daughter, but like, and she still is, but it, it, there's so much more in, like, deeper than that. And, and at the end of the day, like, this sounds weird to say, but like if my daughter wasn't around, I would still want to do what I'm doing because I still feel like I need to set an example for some people. Mm -hmm. um, but my daughter is there, so she definitely does help keep me uh, going because I know she's watching every little thing that I do. Um, I'm just like, whatever, all right, let's go. <laughs> she sees her mom's got dressed, now she's got dressed. Now she's watching everything I do. All right. Uh, Libby says, with the pandemic and working from home from, for the last year, my why shifted from an outer to an inner one. Why? To help reduce stress and improve focus and clarity, recognizing and being okay with making myself a priority. Yes, love it. Woo, awesome. Thank you, ladies, for sharing that, man. And that's exactly the thing. Like, your why is going to change um, depending on your situation, depending on where you're at. And Tom dropped in there. Hashtag Team Cat. <laughs> team Cat. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll see you later, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate Valencia. Right? It's I'm not. It's just encouraging. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Awesome. Thank you guys for sharing that. Oh man. All right. I think that wraps it up. Woo! That was deep. Anything else? <laughs> Just uh, keep in mind, keep that why in mind, guys. Um, just like Coach Gavin and what well, we all said right here, the why may change depending on how you change. But keeping that in mind always will always keep um, grounded, keep you grounded, and keep you going. Um, also, when you don't, if you don't have a why, don't stress about it um, because it'll it'll come to you, and and and. and then, then you will have something to like to keep you going. But for now, like if you don't have that why, like start in small steps, and then you will get it. Like you will definitely get it, and you'll figure it out. And you'll be like, oh, just like Coach Cat, you click to her um, as far as her why goes, and then and, and then you'll find out. When you do, it's gonna be gold right there. You're gonna just be fired up. You're gonna be going strong. And so, but keep that in mind. I know I keep that in mind every day going forward. Ever since like I started working here, it's been growing and growing and growing. And, I know each and every day that I get closer to it, I know exactly why I have to keep going and, and keep pushing and not give up. And uh, you guys matter, so take care of yourself. Yes. Um, yes. Self-care, yes. self-love is extremely important so that you can provide that why, not to, not only for yourself, but for everyone else that is going to benefit from it and that's included in your why. So. Yes, you guys, and remind yourself of your why constantly, like, because it, it, it's so important that you find it if you can, man, because it's going to keep you going on those days, <laughs> those, those tough days or those days where you just want to say, ah, screw it, I'm just going to, like, do nothing anymore and just, like, <laughs> pig out and, like, just 
never work out again. Because trust me, those days hit me too, man. I'm just like, just I don't have to do this. Actually, it's hard just... work. But then it's like, no. Like, I have a purpose here. Like, <laughs> I got to keep going. If I throw in the towel, I'm setting an example of throwing in the towel. And I'm not okay with that. So, uh, Becky says, my why is to be healthy and old. And she's laughing. But I think that is amazing. It's, it, that's important. Like, you want to age and, and feel good and, and be able to uh, depend on yourself and not depend on other people, right? So yes, it is important to like keep yourself healthy and strong. He's like one. <laughs> He's like one. Uh, Monica says, my why is to be the best version of myself physically and mentally. Yes. There you go. Absolutely. Yes. Awesome. Ooh, love it. Thank you guys for sharing. I love when you guys share. Do we got anything over there on, uh, on IG by any chance? Oh, which one? Uh, my, this one on the side. Good? No, looks like we're good. All right. If you guys are watching the replay of this, let us still know in the comments, please. Okay, I know we are, we're live. Maybe you've missed us live, but if you're watching the replay, drop in the comments your why, what keeps you driven. We love to uh, hear from you guys. We will read it even if you didn't catch us live, right, you guys? So. Still drop that in there for us. All right. That's about it. Are we good? That's all I got. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We will be back here next Wednesday, same time, 1130. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day. Hands in. Family on three. One, two, three.